Hi folks, this is gonna be a brief walkthrough for the upcoming scholarly dating profile assignment for my intro to pop culture course. So here's what you need to do to complete the assignment. You're gonna create a dating profile, think something like Tinder or Bumble, for a cultural theorist that I've assigned to each of you. The point here isn't to figure out which cultural theorist, alive or dead, would swipe left or right on what other scholar. The whole dating profile thing is just a framing device for doing research and distilling that information down into a concise format. This means you're gonna to have to be precise, thoughtful, economical, and clear in your language. Here I've listed everyone's name as they appear in the official roster with an initial for your last name. The entries are also alphabetically listed and numbered. So find yourself in the left-hand column in either table and then look to the right of your name. Whoever's name is listed to the right of yours is the scholar that you're gonna be researching and creating a fake dating profile for. So if you're Wesley, for instance, you're gonna be studying the work of Judith Butler, or if you're Kendrick, you're gonna be looking into John Fisk. Okay, so that's the gist of it. You'll be making a dating profile. Now let's get into some of the specifics. You'll need to submit your assignment in the appropriate Dropbox as a PDF on D2L. That file, and thus your dating profile, must include the following things. First, you must include at least one image. More than one is encouraged, but one is the minimum. Second, you'll need to provide the name, age, official title, or occupation, and education of your cultural theorist. Third, after doing some research, pick an anthem and one or more top musical artists that might resonate with the thinker that you've been assigned. Please be creative here. Finally, and most importantly, is the bio. This should be about five to seven sentences in length. Think a nice, healthy paragraph. There's no specific word or character limitation, but these need to be brief but contain a lot of information. I want you to really try to impress me here with how much relevant and accurate information you can fit in this space. Brag, in essence, on your assigned scholar's various accomplishments. Okay, so let me give you just a bit more info on the bio because, again, it's the part that I'm gonna be focusing most on when I'm grading. To complete the bio, I need you to read or at very bare minimum skim and do some research about one key text that was written, co-authored, or otherwise produced by your theorist. Do that and conduct a bit of background information on your theorist and then answer these questions in your bio. Broadly speaking, who is your scholar? When did she or he live and possibly even die? What are the main works or concepts or contributions that he, she, or they have made? Are there any specific arguments or point of view that you can summarize? Distill all of that stuff down into a tightly focused focused bio. Concision is the name of the game here. So just to be clear, I want you to upload two things into D2L for this assignment, and you can submit this as a single or two separate PDFs. That's entirely up to you. You'll have to submit the dating profile that contains at least one image, the name, age, occupation, bio, anthem, etc., of the person that you've been assigned. That's the primary focus of the assignment, right? You'll also need to upload the notes that you take as you read through or skim the text that your cultural theorist wrote. These notes are of secondary importance, but I do wanna see them. It's the equivalent of showing your work in a math problem. It gives me a chance to see the ingredients that went into the creation of your final product. Last thing, take this as an opportunity to be creative and rigorous. If you wanna make photoshops like I did above, do it. that would be rad. If you wanna make your entire bio rhyme or be composed of nothing but puns, do it. Please use this assignment, as indeed you should all assignments, as an opportunity to impress and dismay your enemies. All right, that's it. Good luck.